Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Holy Roller Guitars. This is going to be a how-to video of how to replace your Stratocaster pickup covers. Uh, first thing is you're going to need some safety glasses. I'm going to advise um, on safety as it's uh, very important. Uh, second thing and most importantly before you do anything, um, before you take on this task is you're going to want to buy a six inch ruler. It has a uh, 30 seconds on one side and 60 fourths on the other. And in today's video we're going to be using 60 fourths. You can um, complete this task with that. Uh, third, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver uh, to remove all the screws around the pit guard and to uh, remove the pickups from the pit guard. Uh, fourth, you need a pen and paper. Um, for this video, you're going to want to before you do anything, make sure your guitar is tuned and what you're going to want to do is take the measurement and of the pickups, so your neck, your middle, and your bridge. So this is the way I like to, um, to write down uh, my information. So N is for neck, M is for middle, B is for bridge and then you're going to write your 64th readings. Um, T is for treble and B is for bass. So your bass side, the way you're going to take this measurement, you're going to press down on the last, um, on your E string, on the last fret, and then you're going to take your ruler, make sure it's on top of the magnet, and then take the reading from where Alright, I'm going to do this by feel, but um, take the reading of of the ruler from the 64th side and take the reading of the bottom of the string. So you're going to want to get down and um, what I would do is I would take my phone and then take a picture. Um, I use gadgets like a little bag or a weight and I'll put this like so and then that would hold my ruler in place and then I um, would take my phone and then zoom in and then take the reading of the bottom of the string you have to make sure that the the magnet uh, the ruler is hitting the magnet so you're going to want to do that for the neck the middle the bridge and then for the treble side do the same thing uh, push the uh, your E string, your high E string on the last fret, and then take the measurement of the ruler has to be sitting in the magnet, and then take the reading of the bottom of the string, and then depending on if that's four, five, six, sixty fours, do that for your neck, your middle, and your bridge. So for the next part of the video, it's going to be a time lapse. It's just going to be of the removing of the screws around the pit guard. You do not have to touch the the um, the knobs for the tone or the volume or even the switch. Um, you're going to want to loosen the strings here. Uh, I'm going to loosen the strings that way I don't have to worry about the I don't want to worry about the um, the strings coming out of the tuners. So what you can do is loosen the strings and then I would recommend you getting the capo and then putting it on the first fret. Um, uh, applying a little bit of tension um, so that way the the, uh, the string doesn't get really loose around the tuner. Um, it's just a little trick. So I'm already teaching you tricks um, for guitar but um, just loosen. I'm just going to do it by hand right now but just loosen the strings and I think I think if you can get maybe like that first uh, bend on your finger a little bit above that I think that'll be good enough for for what we're gonna have to do today put a little bit of So 
So if you have a string winder, this would be um, a little bit better, but for this kind of purpose, I don't really think you need the string winder. You're not taking off the strings, you're just loosening them. So here you go, strings are loosened. Um, I'd say as long as you can get your hand underneath here, the pit guard should have enough room to slide underneath there and come out. So next video is time lapse, and then I'll show you how to um, take out the pickups from the pit guard. Okay, and we're back. Um, so here we have the pit guard uh, loose. So what I'm going to recommend is the magnets are going to want to try and grab onto the string. So hold your, um, put your hand here on the fretboard and um, pick up the strings. And then you're going to want to grab the bottom of the pick guard and then make sure the, the screws and the pickups aren't hitting the bottom of the guitar. So you're going to want to pick it up and then turn it this um towards the bottom of the guitar. So there's going to be the string, uh, the input wires are going to um, be on the um, back of the um, pots here. So what you're going to want to do is be careful with that, but just to where they're, they're out there. Um, what you can do to help not scratch the guitar, and try to grab this before, but grab yourself a or towel or something and um, place it uh, beneath the pick guard. What we're going to want to do is take off the screws so uh, hopefully you can see in the video I'm, I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to see it but there's these orange like rubber things here that are holding the 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 pick guard from not touching the pick guard and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove these um, screws here and what you want to do is I would start from the top and work your way down so until the pick guard the pickup comes out so as you can see there um, pickup is out so now you take off your pickup cover you'll have the copper wire exposed and the pickup exposed and then you'll just get a new pickup cover and hopefully there's not a right and wrong way for the pickup covers that you buy but um, this will be that I'm gonna have to really do this by feel make sure the screws are in there and so now what you're gonna do is Tighten the screw. Don't uh, use a drill to do this. Do this by hand because you can really mess up the pickups if you try and just force this. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's not going to take you that much longer just to. Um, do it by hand so I would just do it by hand if you do the first one uh, your neck pickup first you can just try and um, uh, what I'm going to recommend you is try and just mimic what the second pickup looks like um, just to have it in the range and but after you you put the pick guard back in and put the screws back on you can really get the uh, the height uh, pickup height adjusted with a six inch ruler so just um, repeat the process for the the middle and the bridge and this is the same thing if you're just wanting to um, change out the pick guard, but that'll be for another video. Um, so you can you can do this, and uh, I'm gonna do another time lapse to of these two because it, it's probably gonna take a, a little while. 
Um, so we're going to do a time lapse of that, put it back in, put the screws in, and um, then we'll tighten up the strings. And then um, you're, all you're going to have to do is make sure your pickup heights are correct. And um, that will be that. Screws back here. Um, just make sure to, when you're loosening them, when you're loosening them up, um, you do not need to take off the screw along with this, uh, that little orange thing that's back here. If your guitar is older, um, I'm sure on Amazon or Musician Friends, um, you can find uh, replacement parts for these depending on how um, old your guitar is will determine if uh, these need to be replaced. Um, sometimes they do uh, disintegrate and um, they'll just fall apart. I'm pretty sure on this guitar I do have some that are, you know, older, but I think for the most part I have newer ones because uh, I replaced them. Um, I think when I put these pickups in there, so... But it's good to um, to replace parts that may be old. So what I wanted just to show you is that you don't have to remove and the screws won't come out unless you take off these little rubber things. But just for the video, let me show you what these rubber things look like. Yeah. So these are the little rubber things I'm talking about. Um, all you're going to want to do is um, just make sure that the screw stays on the pick guard and then you're just I'm just doing this by feel but you'll just put it back on the screw so like that. So you're gonna so we're gonna time lapse the rest of it I'm gonna put these um, I'm going to put the last pickup cover in, I'm going to put the screw in the pickup, put the screws on, tighten up the strings, then I'll tell you all again how to take the measurements of the pickups. Okay, for the next part of this video, I'm going to be using the 6 inch scale. I'm going to show you how to do this on the neck pickup. And um, if you have problems seeing, like I do, um, what I recommend you doing is using this uh, magnifier on your phone. If you have an iPhone, try clicking the button at the bottom three times and hopefully the magnifier will come up. Um, if not, I think you could probably use your camera. But um, what I was going to do is with my left hand, with my ring finger, I'll push down on the last fret. Um, or maybe even my pinky. Um, I'll figure out uh, which, which finger to push down on there. But we want to make sure that the... 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 Uh, the ruler is on the pickup and what you're going to do is uh, what I do is take a picture of the of the bottom of the the bottom of the string Well, um, so for your bass side, it's supposed to be 564, and your treble side is supposed to be 464. I think I've been doing this long enough, and um, this wasn't scripted or anything, but it's almost right at that uh, 564. So this is what you're going to want to 
to see on your base side is um, you can bring up the pickup just a little bit, a tad more, but uh, that's what you're going to want to see. So this is actually on the phone. It's not the, the guitars in the background. Um, but yeah, that's what you're going to want to see. So pick that up just a little bit. Um, so to pick up the pickup, you're going to want to turn it clockwise. To lower the pickup, you do it counterclockwise. Um, so that is the the neck pickup. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my left hand to. And um, so what you're gonna want to do is grab the phone again, and then look at what it's uh, what the string looks like. The phone and it's supposed to be four, so it needs to come up a little bit. So this might be just a little blurry, but what you're going to want to see is the string right on that 464. So again, this is the, the phone, um, but you'll, what you'll do is you'll count here. That would be 164, 264, 364, and 464s. So, um, it's better to use um, the phone um, to take these pictures if you can't see. As you can see, this is a magnifier, and so, so I think this would help for if you're vision impaired or um, if you um, if you have problems seeing. So, there's a tip for you. So. What you're going to do is do the same thing you did for that neck pickup. You're going to do it for the middle and the bridge. Same. Uh, these are Fender standard specs. So there you have it. Um, do the same thing. Push down the last fret and then put the uh, ruler on top of the magnet and then check the, the, uh, the pickup height. So you're actually getting what three, three pro tips. <laughs> um, pro tip number one is you're getting the specs, the standard specs for Fender American Stratocaster pickups, which these are, and um, you're learning how to do a little bit of uh, technician work. And um, my my pro tip is using your phone if uh, you can't see very well. Uh, please stay safe. Remember, if you're doing this, please stay safe. Um, I recommend if you change out your strings or um, do any kind of wiring or anything on your on your um, guitar, um, please wear safety glasses. And um, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, if you made it this far, please write a comment if you'd like to see anything new. Uh, this is going to be second video for... Holy Roller Guitars, thank you very much, God bless you, and have a great and awesome day. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned for more, we're going to be doing another um, guitar video of the uh, Muso guitar, um, adding stickers to the fretboard, um, that's good for um, kids, or maybe someone that's vision impaired that would want to play guitar. Um, just more pro tips about that and uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you very much god bless take care bye bye